Imagine waking up every single night to your bed shaking. Not once, not twice, but 12 times in a single week. This is the reality for half a million people living directly above one of the most dangerous supervolcanoes on Earth. Campi Flegre, just west of Naples, Italy. But here's what's terrifying. For decades, scientists believed magma was rising beneath their feet, preparing for an eruption that could devastate southern Europe. Earthquakes intensifying. Ground lifting nearly 5 feet since 2005. Over 1,500 tremors recorded in recent months alone. Families packing evacuation bags, children sleeping in their clothes. The Italian government running drill after drill. Everyone thought molten rock was the enemy. Hmm. But in May 2025, scientists from Stanford University and the University of Naples published a study that changes everything. The danger isn't magma, it's rainwater. Yes, you heard that right. Rain water. And the discovery they made using an Italian coffee pot in a laboratory has revealed something far more unpredictable and potentially more catastrophic than anyone imagined. This isn't a volcano preparing to erupt in the way we thought. This is a pressurized time bomb sealing itself tighter every single day with no warning signs we've been trained to recognize. By the end of this video, you'll understand why climate change is making this supervolcano more dangerous, why the earthquakes won't stop, and what could trigger a disaster that gives no one time to escape. Stay with me, because what's happening beneath Naples right now is rewriting volcanic science, and the clock is ticking for everyone living in the red zone. Let me take you back to March 20th, 2025. It's 3.42 in the morning. Pozuale, the town sitting right at the heart of Campi Flegre's caldera. Hmm. Families are asleep. Then it hits a magnitude 4.6 earthquake, the strongest ever recorded at this supervolcano in modern history. Beds violently shake. Windows rattle. Plaster cracks and falls from ceilings. People flood into the streets in pajamas, terrified, clutching their children. Mm, this wasn't just another tremor, this was a wake-up call. But the mystery is deeper than one earthquake. Since 2005, the ground beneath Pozzuoli has risen 1.5 meters. Hmm, that's almost 5 feet of vertical uplift. The port of Pozzuoli, once submerged, now sits partially exposed. Boats that used to float freely are now scraping the harbor floor at low tide. Ancient Roman ruins, the Mesalem of Pozzuoli, show columns that were underwater for centuries now standing high and dry, covered in marine boreholes that tell the story of past uplifts. The land is breathing, rising and falling over centuries, but this time, it's not stopping. It's not stopping. Scientists have been monitoring non-stop the YEMI, the Italian National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology, operates dozens of seismic stations, GPS instruments, and gas sensors across the caldera. Their data is chilling. Over 1,000 earthquakes every single year. GPPR. Some weeks see more than 50 tremors. Most are small, magnitude 1 or 2, barely felt. But they're constant, relentless and they're shallow occurring just two to three kilometers underground. That's dangerously close to the surface. For years, the assumption was clear. Magma must be rising. The earthquakes, the uplift, the increasing gas emissions from fumaroles, the hot springs boiling hotter. It all pointed to molten rock pushing upward, pressurizing the crust, preparing for an eruption. Volcanologists looked at historical records. 1538, 1538, the last eruption of Campi Flegre. Monte Nuovo, a new mountain literally burst from the ground in just days. The breakthrough came from an unexpected place. Not from drilling into the volcano, not from satellite imaging, but from a kitchen. Specifically, an Italian pot. So, that stovetop coffee maker millions of Italians use every morning. Stanford scientists, 
working alongside researchers at the University of Naples, Federico II, were trying to solve a puzzle. Why were the earthquakes so persistent? Why was the ground rising without any sign of fresh magma reaching the surface? No lava, no volcanic gases indicating molten rock, just relentless shaking and uplift. They collected rock samples from deep boreholes drilled years earlier at Campi Flegre. Volcanic Caprock from 1 to 2 kilometers underground. Then they did something brilliant. They heated these rocks in laboratory conditions, exposing them to water and steam at high temperatures and pressures, mimicking what happens beneath Pozzuoli. And they watched something extraordinary unfold. The rocks began to heal themselves. Tiny cracks and fractures that should have stayed open started closing. Within just 24 hours, mineral fibers precipitated from the hydrothermal fluids, filling the gaps, sealing the pathways. It was like watching a wound stitch itself shut. The scientists realized they were witnessing a natural sealing mechanism. The caprock, sitting like a lid over a massive geothermal reservoir, wasn't just fractured rock, it was a self-repairing barrier. And this changed everything. Because if the rock seals itself, then pressure can't escape, hmm. And builds, and builds, like a pot on a stove. Water heats at the bottom. Steam rises, pressure increases. If the valve is open, steam releases safely. But if it's blocked, sealed tight, the pressure has nowhere to go. Eventually, something has to give. The scientists published their findings in Nature Communications. Their conclusion was shocking. The earthquakes at Campi Flegre are not caused by rising magma, they're caused by rainwater. Decades of rainfall, seeping deep underground, recharging a vast geothermal reservoir beneath the caldera. The reservoir fills, pressure increases. The heated water tries to expand, tries to rise, but the self-sealing cap rock traps it. The pressure strains the rock, cracks form, earthquakes occur, then the cracks seal again, the cycle repeats. But here's the terrifying part. The analysis revealed something nobody expected. Over the past 24 years, rainfall in the region has been increasing. Climate change is altering precipitation patterns across the Mediterranean. Wetter winters, more intense storms, more water infiltrating the ground. Sentiment. More water reaching the geothermal system. More pressure building beneath half a million people. The volcano isn't preparing to erupt in the traditional sense. It's being pressurized from above, not below. So here's my question for you. If it's not magma, if it's water and steam trapped underground. Now here's where it gets truly terrifying. When pressure builds in a sealed volcanic system like this, the release isn't gradual. It's explosive, and it's called a freak eruption. Steam-driven, no lava, no warning. Just a catastrophic blast of superheated water flashing instantly into steam. Snai. Think of it like this. Water trapped under immense pressure at depths of 2 to 3 kilometers. Temperatures reaching 300 degrees Celsius or higher. Suddenly, a fracture opens. Then hours later, boiling hot water, white vapor clouds rising, then the explosion. In just days, a hill over 400 feet tall was born. Ash fell across the region. But there was no lava flow. It was freetic, pure steam power. And the terrifying reality? Campi Flegre today shows the exact same signatures. Residents in Pozzuoli report hearing deep booming sounds underground. Low frequency rumbles that shake windows but aren't always recorded as earthquakes. Those are pressure pulses. Water flashing to steam in confined spaces. Small bursts, but they're warnings. Scientists analyzing the seismic data found something else in July 2025. Very long period signals, VLP, oscillations lasting 60 to 90 seconds at depths of 3.6 kilometers. These are resonance patterns. Gas and fluid moving through cracks the volcano is breathing, pressurizing and depressurizing and depressurizing. Right now, as you're watching this video, 
Campi Flegre is experiencing one of its most active periods in decades. In the past seven days alone, 732 earthquakes have been recorded, some so shallow they rattle dishes in kitchen cabinets, others strong enough to crack century-old masonry in historic neighborhoods. INAVE real-time monitoring stations show the REIT GPS station near Rioni Terra has recorded 2.5 centimeters of uplift per month. That's faster than, at any point, since the 1980s crisis, when 16,000 people were evacuated from Pozzuoli, Bacoli to Umbria, and March, Monte di Brusida to Abruzzo. But ask yourself this, have you ever tried to evacuate a major city? The roads around Pozzuoli are narrow, built centuries ago, two lanes in most places. Traffic is heavy on normal days. If it's a free-tick explosion, there's no warning. Steam blasts happen in seconds, not days. If it's based on earthquake intensity, which threshold? Magnitude 5, 5.5. By the time officials issue the order roads could already be impassable from structural damage. This isn't theoretical. During the March magnitude 4.6 earthquake, Dozens of buildings in Pozzuoli's old town developed new cracks. Stanford scientists offered something remarkable in their study. Hope. Not just diagnosis, but treatment. They call it preventive healthcare for volcanoes. The solution is water management. If rainfall recharging the geothermal reservoir is the problem, then controlling that recharge becomes the answer. Engineer surface water drainage systems reduce infiltration, lower the groundwater table, install relief wells that can safely extract fluids from the reservoir releasing pressure gradually instead of catastrophically. This isn't science fiction. Iceland does this at Krafla Volcano. Engineers drilled wells into geothermal systems, extracted heat and fluids, and generated clean energy while reducing volcanic pressure. It's proven technology. But it requires massive investment, political will, international cooperation, and time. The question is, does Campi Flegre have time? The latest data suggests the system is approaching a critical threshold. Decades of monitoring show a pattern. Uplift accelerates, earthquakes intensify. Then either the system releases pressure through a seismic swarm and uplift slows, or it ruptures catastrophically. The VLP signals discovered in July. The self-sealing cap rock, no foundation anchoring. A magnitude 5 at 2 km depth would be catastrophic even without an eruption. So here's my final question for you. And I genuinely want your thoughts in the comments. <laughs> if you lived in Pozzuoli right now, knowing everything you just learned, would you stay or would you leave? And if you'd leave, what would it take for you to make that decision? Your answer might help someone else watching this video make the hardest choice of their life. If this information opened your eyes to something you didn't know about volcanic hazards, hit that subscribe button. Because Campi Flegre isn't the only volcano showing unusual activity right now, and staying informed could literally save lives.